amin, no? At the clubhouse on May 5. So, tagot ko sa kanya, can they not celebrate in the parish church or in the chapel? Kasi, the most proper place ng Eucharist is the church. Eh, ang lapit lang naman. Hindi ko naman kung mong malayo-malayo yun eh. Okay? And then, sabi daw, they have some kind of a setup, a bit complicated if they bring it to the church. Please allow them na. Thanks. Siyempre, ako, as usual, sagot ko, may magagawa pa ba ako? Tapos, you know, the Eucharist becomes cheap with all this personal agenda. The priest should have educated them. Kasi, alam naman natin eh, hindi kay, ang misa, hindi naman basta-basta kung saan di ano, porkit isang pamilya ito, inibita ka. I, I, and I, ako, I appreciate one of our parish priests, the same vicari. Alam niya ang, uh, alam niya ang papel niya, alam niya ang kind boundaries. The family is within this, uh, residing in our uh, parish. Yet, as parish priest of another church, he asked me, Father, pwede ba sa December 24, meron kami family mass, midnight mass, kasi yan ang tradisyon namin. Ako, walang problema. Nagpaalam ka eh. Parish peace ka eh. Tsaka ano, ano. Tsaka yun, sa bahay eh. Sa family mass, di ba? Okay. I'm, I'm open for that. Kesa sa ito sa clubhouse. Di ba? Uh, ano, di ba? Clubhouse yan eh. Kaya hindi nauuso ngayon eh. Huh? Silver Jubilee o sa hotel, kukuha na ng pari ito na pag-isa. Ano nangyari? How, what is the, what are we projecting to the people? Diba? Even the whole masses, kung tutuusin, hindi rin dapat siya napayagan eh. Nagkaroon na ngayon ng simbahan sa loob ng palengke. Samantalang tinanggal ni Jesus ang palengke sa simbahan, sa templo. Now, pero, para matawi, matawi um, sige, magkaroon ng tuwid na, no? We bring Christ to the marketplace. Okay. Ako naman nagpapasal. I mean, uh, di, ano ko lang, pastoral reason, ang, 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 ang ano ko lang kasi, fear ko, what kind of Eucharistic spirituality, understanding, appreciation are we giving to the people if we just simply allow the Eucharist to be celebrated anywhere, anytime, anyhow. Bishop Bakani, no panahon na election, itong Radwis National Election ito, sabi niya, miss na, nagkasal siya sa amin eh, so nagkakwentuhan kami. And, and then I think, Few days later, submission ng COC sa Comelec. Uh, and uh, a candidate, I will not mention anymore, the name, lumapit sa kanya, uh, yung partido, yung mga galabay. Bishop, can you celebrate the mass dyan sa Comelec? Kasi magsasubmit si kandidato ng COC. Sabi ko, Bishop, ano sabi niyo? Eh di hindi. <laughs> Kala nila. <laughs> so, yeah. Kasi, but, 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 but nagkaroon ng ganong uh, disposition ng mga Pilipinong Katoliko. Kasi pinabayaan natin eh. Pinabayaan natin na pwede naman pa, pwede mag-misa sa ganito, pwede mag ganito. Bottom line, what catechism what catechi on the Eucharist are we offering the people? Yan. Yan ang inaano ko lagi. The renewal. The renewal. Hmm? Yan ang... Uh, okay, we, have, we, we have to take care... What? Kasi... Kasi yung... Yung sacrament niya, makita, makita, makita na talaga. Mahal ng mahal ng Pilipino ang sacramento. Mas swerte pa tayo, puno pa simbahan natin eh. At nga sinasabi ko nga, puti nga may malls kasi kung hindi, puno-puno na simbahan natin. 
Easy na ako. Yung nakita kong positive na masan sa sample na kita ko na sa kabila ng meron kami misa sa may misa sa landmark sa amin. Ano namin yun? Story pa rin namin yan. Meron sa Green Belt mismo yung chapel. Tapos, uh, yan, Green Belt landmark. Yan, meron ah, uh, yung yung parish church sa inyo po sa parish church akala na yung mababawasan ang ano mababawasan ang taong magsisimba kasi napunta na doon sa lugar na yun at mas madali kasi doon nandun, nandun na yung shopping eh tuloy-tuloy na no? still our church still built up still built up no? from 6 o'clock na hanggang 9.30 yan no? every every Sunday no? kaya in a way sabi ko naisip ko nga uh, at ang, ang advantage pala ng mga masses sa mods at least na nare-congest ang mga simbahan dahil nga tawag dito at least every day nagkakaroon, nagkakaroon talaga ng maayos na uh, celebration okay. yan lang yan lang ha yung catechesis on the sacraments bakit ang, ang popular piety Nazareno Santo Nino yan ang popular popular niyan kasi nga Equated yan sa sakramento eh. Ha? Sa sakramento. Which unfortunately, uh, yun, ang, yun ang mali. Na kala nila, yung devotion sa, sa, sa Nazareno, para rin yan, devotion o pahal na natin sa Eucharistia. Walang pagkakalipa. Basta, dasal. Basta, worship. Ganun. Na, maganda sana itong popular piety, Dahil, dahil gawa ng tao yan eh, di ba? Paggawa natin, kaya natin, di ba? Kita niya, go on to a tua kayo sa ginawa ninyo, di ba? <laughs> sa inyo galing yan. Babalik sa inyo yung handout na yan, di ba? Kaya sa inyo yan, di ba? Kaya ko, yung popular devotion, tao sa mga tabungwa nun eh, di ba? Kaya masaya sila, they own it. Okay? Ang kulang, katikisis. Para maging maayos. Ha? Sacraments, ganun din. Gusto ko siya ng Pilipino mag-disisimba, mag-mag... Uh, yung simbang gabi na lang eh, di ba? No? Di ba? Talaga po po nung simbahan yan. Kaya makulang ang proper catechesis. And this is our, uh, what do you call this, responsibility. Kasi as catechists, catechetical leaders, we're forming catechists who are now the ones responsible in forming the young on the sacraments. Ngayon, kung tutuloy-tuloy natin yung, yung, sacrament, yung ating sacrament kasi nung sinauna hanggang ngayon ay in the context of millennialism that they wouldn't do things if they don't feel about it. And they don't understand about it. Wala yan, hindi na na iiwan ka niyan. Okay? So, ma 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 makikita lang natin sa araw, tulad na tayo lang sa Europe, o na wala ng tao sa simbahan. Yun nga, yun ang inaano kung may sano na, let us learn from the West. Such, so that the secularization we cannot avoid. Nandito na yan. We are already inhaling the air of secularization. We just have to accept that we are. Pero, let us learn the lessons from the West. Sila, they were taken aback by that onslaught ng secularization. Kaya, hindi nila, hindi sila ready. Yun. Na, na secularize sila, na the Christian as it Now, tayo, we have the opportunity to uh, still, while accepting the, 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 the situation of being secularized, we can defend ourselves and still remain Christian. By renewing our the way we do Catechism. Okay? Yan. Everybody has a copy? Na? Okay, so we'll do that. You can do your first. Uh, actually, you can download this also, huh? Like, uh, you know, like, um, 
I just um, chose this kasi ito yung mistagogy ang part na medyo minsan nahirap maintindihan ma 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 talaga. Kasi it's really, uh, it's a kind of catechesis that does not, uh, uh, I would say, fall into our usual catechetical uh, uh, procedure or process. Okay. So first of all, first of all, uh, on page, oh no, on page 100, you know, on page that is uh, taas, you know, and it's a little bit of a Many of us think of mystagogy as the final period of the catechumenal process. Okay? So, kay dito, di ba? Ito yung final, ano to. But, in reality, in reality, mystagogy is for all our days. Nasa page 100, ang 100 nasa taas. Tapos na sa panagdap. In fact, another author would say, is mystagogy an end? Perhaps it is an end to the ritual of initiation, but it is a beginning for the rest of one's life. And even our, our catechist right, is supposed to go through a continuous mystagogical experience where we continuously reflect on the sacramental life, on our sacramental life, and insert ourselves in the Christian community. Because the sacraments, from the sacraments, we receive the grace to be involved in the Christian community. And sabi ko nga, dapat the, ang sacramento ay hindi na iiwan sa simbahan. Kaya nga ang ending natin lagi sa mas is go in peace. Hindi in, in pieces. Go in peace. Sa classroom, ganun din dapat ang mangyari. Yung classroom catechesis natin, hindi may iwan dito lang sa classroom. Daladala yan sa community, sa bahay. Magagawa natin if our catechetical uh, uh, method would use or would be what we call Mr. Kojika. So, ano yun? Ano yung Mr. Kojika na yan? Okay. So, there are, this is the next pages. I will go right away with sa ano. Para din you can have a, so page 103. So, nag-suggest siya ng ganitong steps. Okay. Kaya, kaya kung binigay sa ito, later on in your workshop, you may apply uh, this uh, uh, suggested steps. Okay. So, the first step is encounter. Where the, the neophytes participate fully, consciously, actively in the Sunday liturgy and in the life of the parish to encounter Christ in a profound way. Okay? So, politing dito, o oh, ito yung mga sinasabi nyo, ano dito, may public, public tayo sa encounter. No? Encounter. How to, sa, anong encounter? The encounter with Christ in the sacramental celebration or the encounter with Christ in, the, in their involvement in the community. Yun ang babalikan nila. No? Yun ang babalikan nila. Okay. Sa... So, I read this, participate fully consciously, actively. Alam niyo sa, sa parish, sa St. John Bosco Parish, starting, uh, I think, almost a year na, or more than a half a year, I uh, told the LCG, our lectors, commentators group, one in one of their monthly meetings, I'm going, in the next month, we will remove the role of the commentators. At dito na nga ito, natutunan ko kay Jerry Santos. Kay mga si Jerry. Nung minsan yung vision center sa amin, narinig ko sila. Sabi ko, ano sinabi ni mga si Jerry sa inyo? Tapos sabi sa akin, ito yung report sa akin. Sabi po ni mga senior, dapat rin ako wala sa balat ng lupa ang commentators. So, ano nga ba si Jerry kung magsinagot? So, that meeting, I told you, so, 
We will do what Masiyah Jerry advised us. Matatanggal ang tatanggalin natin sa balat ng parokya ang commentators. So, wala na. Yan. Ang nangyari, we project all the actions na dun sa monitor. Please stand, please kneel, please sit. Yan. Silence. So, tatayo na yung mga tao. Yan. Tapos, tapos, tinanggal ko pa yung mga introduction na galing sa Pisalit. Na basa ng basa, wala naman nakikinig. Tapos, babasahin niya, babasahin yung paragraph doon, yung tax gawa ng Pisalit, iba naman ang i-develop ng pare sa kanyang homily. So, what's the point? Diba? So, ang nangyari, sabi ko lang sa commentator, kaya dito lang, introduce the day. Today is the fifth Sunday of Easter. Pause. Let us now pause for a minute of silence. Ito na kalagay dito. For a full, conscious, active participation in the Eucharist. Period. Silence. Ganun lang. Then, pagkatapos ng one minute of silence, pagkita na naman pa-flash na sa uh, please stand, kakanta na yung choir. And they sing. <coughs> Yun. So, Ay, hindi na. Tinagkala namin yan. Uh, uh, sa, sa diocese, wala na yun eh. Sa Manila, wala na. Uh, lalagay na lang sa bulletin board. Sa bulletin board. Sa amin. So yun. Uh, Naalala ko lang itong anong to. So, so, the first step, sa, again, sa mistagogy is let the catechist or the, uh, dito sa process, ano natin, and ga, ga, experience that encounter. Huh? by ito nga, looking back to the sacramental life or their involvement in the parish okay then in that in that uh, looking back text step number 2 is recollect recollect how you encountered Christ in that event what happened what you see what did you see hear and do listen to what others may remember especially the sponsor the catechist and and those who have been given insight to the mystery through the baptism Okay, so ito yung, again, sharing na naman lang of what happened no, in their sacramental celebration, in their sacramental life. Okay? So ito yung, actually, ito yung ginagawa ng mga neophytes namin, itong limang bagong bigyan, every Saturday, they come together uh, before, the, before the Mass and after the Mass. No? As I mentioned, they are still uh, uh, asked to go back to the church for the Sunday gathering. The Sunday gathering. Then, then reflect, no? What was the most memorable moment of that encounter with Christ? How did that make you feel? Feelings, both positive and negative, are promptings of the Spirit because we can't control them. They are the Spirit's way of getting our attention. What do you think the Holy Spirit was trying to show you and say to you in that moment? Okay? So at least this point, you realize how effective is the mystagogical part of the catechism. Affecting. Affecting. Kasi yung, uh, yung bang maging conscious talaga, ang Diyos ay kumikilo sa buhay natin. Then, papasok yung catechism. With the catechism and others serving uh, school and church's tradition, explore what the apostles, saints, have taught us about this particular encounter, what are some of the texts of, from the scripture and other sacred writings that relate to the encounter, what Christian traditions, prayers, disciplines do we practice to strengthen and deepen our understanding of that teaching. So, you can, so meron pa rin ka, catechism proper within this stage. Okay? where you connect you connect with the word of god yeah so it's a uh, parish what they do is uh the catechesis here is in preparation for the mass for the gospel reading okay you know you know so that uh, they recollect they reflect and then the catechesis is on the mass tapos number five next page Connect. 
Have you remembered how we have encountered Christ in the liturgy, our parish life, and the of the book? What is happening in our world right now that needs to remember this experience? How is God calling our community to be more credible in our witness? What is the Spirit calling me to change in my life so I can be a more faithful disciple? So ito yung and our, 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 a step towards re-entry or entering the community. Okay? Or the world, the society. And then finally, the next, the last step is conversion. Convert. What will I commit? Or what's a commitment dito, no? What will I commit to, to doing this week to live as a disciple of Christ in the world? What can I change? What change can I make to be more like Christ for others? So this mystagogical reflection in the midst of the Christian community goes the, the catechumens deeper in the love of God as they prepare to encounter Christ again and again in the liturgy and in the life of the disciples. That's why mystagogical is continuous. It's not the end. No? It is the beginning of a deeper relationship with Christ that has been preceded by the other the, the three stages. But once you reach this, it continues. No, you continue. Okay, okay yeah. So, uh, isang, uh, isang cycle to, and then you move to another, starting again with evangelization. Lalo na po sa catechetical course. No? Yeah. Pwede din sa catechetical course, isang lesson, na di bawa. Sa cycle siya, tapos next topic ulit. Kaya nga, yan yung spiral curriculum na sinasabi natin. Okay? You start with evangelization, and then the, and then the intercatechesis, then the scrutinies, and then the strategy. Then start again, okay? uh, with, another, with another topic or with another level. So, palalim ng palalim, and at the same time, it it is expanded. Okay. So there. So on page one o four, there is the summary of this. You know. So the event we start with the event or the encounter with God. Okay. Well, well. Kung kung sinusundan natin ito, ito na yung mismo yung kwaan yung topic niyo. Okay. And then uh, the what you call this connecting the event to some symbols, actions, texts, no, that are found in the sacramental celebration. You reflect on that, no? and then bring in the scripture and tradition catechesis. Connect it with their life, the situation, the community, and then uh, commitment. Uh, what you call this to change no? or to us to respond to the challenges. Okay, the last page. There, the topic is ongoing catechesis. This mystical, mystagogical catechesis is intended for all Catholics as a lifelong catechesis because we still see only dimly as St. Paul says. It is through the ongoing liturgical celebration of the mystery and the lifelong systematic exploration of our encounter with the mystery that the, the, that the scales are lifted from our eyes. In other words, that the we, we, we see more clearly with the eyes of faith that has been formed, educated, and matured. Okay? So, this mystagogical process is intended for all Catholics as a lifelong catechesis. Today, we, we look at catechesis as a lifelong faith formation. Kaya nga, uh, uh, tuloy, tuloy tayo. No? From, and then, uh, and when we do programming, we start with ang maganda nga ngayon sa pasok ng K-12 kasi we are all challenged now to revise our programs starting from K-12 to mga sabi nga ng K-12, seamless seamless at ganun tayo sa katechesis tuloy-tuloy, seamless yung pagpapalalim na uh, kanilang ka relationship natin sa Diyos Okay, Jesus. Right? Then, uh, so this systematic initiative catechesis focus on training them in the four areas of uh, discipleship that is quoted in RCI 75 mm -hmm. as ended with the entrance of the period of purification and enlightenment, but continues with the methodological uh, catechesis. Okay. Tapos, 
Ito yung maganda nyo sa pinaka last page. The sponsors as Miss Black Hawks. I would, uh, I would uh, uh, what you call this, entitle this in our context, catechetical formators as Miss Black Hawks. So, uh, yung nag, nag, nag conduct ng Miss Takuji, yun ang Miss Black Hawks. And you'll, you'll see here, no, how uh, ibang iba yung kanilang questioning no, that they expect from one who conducts a mystagogy. Then you know, ang conversation sa mystagogy goes like this. What was your most memorable moment of the liturgy? What was your favorite part? What did you see, hear, do, feel? What did it mean to you? What does it remind you from the Bible, from our Catholic traditions? What does it tell you about God? What does it say about Christ? If that symbol could speak, what would it say to us about our faith? How does this change you? So nakita niyo yung questions niya? Hindi siya dito. It's more value questions. Ang tawag dito yung valuing questions. Eh. Diba? At ito ang dapat matutunan ng ating mga katekista. Para makarating tayo dun sa affective catechesis. Uh, Sabi dito sa new evangelization. Okay? Alright. Any question? Any uh, clarification? Uh, Reaction, you know, question that reaction or what to call how do you what what is going on in your uh, mind in your heart with all this uh, input? Does this answer your dream? Yes. So we start with your no, with your blessings, Diva. And I said now we will move now to the dream. That's the, so. Uh, with this uh, baptismal Catholic humanity, does this uh, lead you to envision more? Yes? Can we use this in our catechetical instruction, not the timing, but in classroom situation or in class? Because that's the context of our catechist and religion teachers. We cannot just adapt this uh, directly, but we can make use of this at least in the instruction part. So maybe we can make, I'm thinking if we can make some kind of adaptation because that's actually, we're already doing that. But we miss the mystagogical part. Hmm. Well, so, uh, so let me see, let me put that. So the whole thing of the baptismal catechumen, if you read, read the RCIA, by the way, I'll project here. This is the document, it is downloadable. Huh? Nasa, nasa, you Google it, RCIA. Lalabas yung buong dokumento yan. Now, uh, to sum up the whole document, uh, it is with the word adapt. In fact, sa docu sa table of contents in docu, adaptation to, adaptation to, adapt, no? Adapt. So the, the, the process is presented to us, but for each one of us to adapt to our concrete situation. So we uh, so there uh, there are no that's why we cannot have a model modules chan it depend oh, talaga sa situation sino ka usap nyo yes. nyo but it can be adopted even in our ordinary regular catechetical uh, courses or or teachings no kaya lang yung sempre tinanong niya yung adapt ang oras na availability yung available time ganyan okay Ang importante lang is makuha natin yung spirit ng uh, this Baptist Catechumenate is the ongoing encounter with Christ that leads us to ongoing conversion. Kasi, hindi nyo pansin, bakit ang mga Catholic adults ayaw ng magkatechesis? Sabi ng professor ko na namatay na, there are two heresies, contemporary heresies in the church today. First heresy, catechesis has been locked up only for children. Ang pagkakaintindi ng marami, 
ang katekesis pambata lang. Heretical yan. Kasi, balikan natin ang kasaysayan ng simbahan, ang katekesis nagsimula sa mga magaganda, sa may edad. Kasi wala pa nung infant baptism. Eh. Diba? So, yun. And yet, bakit ganun, bakit ganun ang, ano, ang, uh, ang attitude ng mga Catholic adults? Because, Natanim sa kanilang isip at naranasan nila ang katikisis pa ulit-ulit. Natutunan ko na yan nung pa eh. Pinulit na naman eh. Pero, mind you, kahit na nag-aral sila sa Catholic schools, nag-aral nag ba sa Catholic schools, meron pa sa theology, pag tinanong mo kung ano ang kasal, mong papakasal, hindi alam ko ano ang kasal ang sakramento ng kasal. So, so Abish, do you have the canonical interview? Bago mag-canonical interview, meron muna ako sabihin sa klaro. First question, so, magnobyo. Why are you getting married in this church? Pero kasi ikaw, tagalas inyas. Ikaw naman, sa Commonwealth, bakit dito kayo papakasal sa Makati? Sabi kasi, nandiyan ang hotel namin. Nandiyan ang reception namin. Pag gano'n ang sagot, doon kayo mapakasal sa Sacred Heart. Kayo papakasal sa, sa, sa Magalianis. Because this church, is not a wedding destination church. This is a Christian community that welcomes you and accompanies you in your spiritual preparation for marriage. Dahil dyan, four years ago, I started a bad thing with St. John Bosco. I, uh, I inherited 170 marriages. When 2014. 2015, ako na yung nagsimula mag-interview. Hindi na yan, hindi na yan. Sa akin na dumag na nagpahando. From 170, naging 100. 2016, naging 90. 2017, 70. Pero sabi ko sa inyo, hindi bumaba ang revenue ng parokya. But, we put across the couples getting married that here we help you to understand and appreciate the beauty of the sacrament of marriage. Kaya, sasabihin ko sa kanila, dito kayo, handa ba kayo six months preparation Bakit six months, Father? Kasi actually, nung pagdating ko doon, ayun na mga first ano, ano lang sila eh, interview, actually, reservation, interview, pre-cana, and then, rehearsal na two days before their wedding, rehearsal confession. Okay. And nakita ko yung pre-cana namin, yung narabutan ko, from 8 o'clock, Hanggang 5 o'clock every last Sunday of the month. Napalating ng 5 o'clock, lupay-pay na yung mga couples na kumuha ng seminar. Information overload. Kasi 8 o'clock to 5 o'clock, kayo nga eh. 4.30 lang, di ba? <laughs> eh sila, 5 o'clock. Wala pang, wala pang misa yun ha. Tapos kaya sasabi ko dun sa mga sa team, Nagpapaseminar kayo ng linggo, tapos hindi sila pinapasimba. Nakinig sila sa inyo, sa Diyos din nakinig. So, so okra. Solusyon. Hatiin yung seminar na yan. Gawing half day. So, from 10 o'clock to 6.30, may kasamang visa. The, the couples attending the PK na seminar are invited to join the parish church, the parish mass at 5.30, where 
As parish priest, I introduce them to the people and ask the community to pray for them. Binabanggit ko lang mga pangalan nila. We pray for the following couples who get married in this coming month. Hindi ko isa pinapatayo. Kaya sabi ko pa ako, maudlot. So, ano sila? Mention lang. Okay. So, dahil inati namin yung Cedric K na that concessions na mahalaga, hindi mo ibigay. So, ang mangyari, the three sessions were give, are given now by a couple, our parish, our team, to the couple, couple to couple. Para mas malalim ang, the, ang uh, reflection, ang, uh, ang ano. Para nga, yan, yung katikimunal ang ano, ang, ang dating. No? That personal sa kanila. So, good nila, meron kaming good uh, mga nagbo-volunteer na couples. Ha? They come, once, uh, ano naman ito eh? Once a month lang yung, ano, uh, yung isang session. So, kaya three months yan eh. One session, a month. Okay? So, interview, tapos pre-key na, tapos yung tatlong buwan na, once a month na tatlong topics. Tapos, babalik sa akin to conclude, to synthesize all the uh, counseling sessions and to give the, kumbaga, yung uh, catechetical aspect ng marriage. So, lima. Tapos, yung rehearsal na nila, two days, three days before their wedding. Sa rehearsal, doon ko, ako nag-rehearse. Ako nag-rehearse. Unless, kadala ngayon, di ba? May, may rock sign, may nalikod ako, may ko sa pare. Pero, bakit? Kasi sa rehearsal, doon ko, pinapaliwanan ang bawat simbolo ng kasal. Ang dami nagpapakasal, gumibili ng aras, hindi alam ko na ibig sabihin ng aras. Sabihin ko, yung aras, tingnan niyo sa dasal niyo, ha? binabasbasa ng pari, at kayo naman, yan so, uh, you receive this aras as a sign of my support for you. Material support yan, na bibigay dapat ng mag-asawa sa isa't isa. Yan. Tapos sasabihin ko sa ilan ang coins ng aras? Huwag kayong sumagot na hindi kay kasal. <laughs> <laughs> Yung mga kinasal, ilan, ilan ang coins ng aras? <laughs> Ito yun na labing tatlo. Thirteen coins. Because the aras symbolize the material support that they're supposed to give each other throughout the year. So one coin for every month. Eh, bakit 13 coins? 13 months. Oh, 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 news. Yan ang lagi pala sa inyo na sinapwenta siya sinasagot. Hindi. The 13th coin stands for the poor. On your wedding day, God gives you abundant graces that you need to share, especially the poor. Kaya pag tinan niyo yung blessing, final blessing na sa kasal, nandun niyo ano, and may you go and then may God reward you for the help that you give to the needy ones who approach you. Ayun na sa nasa final blessing. Yung nag-alaw. Tsaka ngayon, sa bagong rite ng kasal ngayon, sa lumang rite, yung aras, ibigay sa lalaki, no? tapos yung lalaki, ibigay niya sa babae, sasabihin niya, receive this aras, ano ganyan ganyan. Tapos yung babae, sasagot na, I gracefully accept. Ngayon, hindi na. Equal gender equality. Kaya, yung lalaki, ibigay yung aras sa babae, Yung babae, ipapalik sa lalaki yung aras. With the same, with the same statement, with the same uh, uh, Kasi, pantay na nga sila. So yun, so yun, yan ganyan, ina-explain yan dahan-dahan sa isa, sa during the rehearsal. Tapos of course, may confession muna. Tapos uh, sa confession, oh my God. Kung di lang kayo kayo asal, di ko talaga, ano yun. Kasi yun, yun. Uh, ayun na, yun talagang kulang talaga sa katikisi sa kramito. Yes, Father? Yung pagbabago ng pagbibigay ng araw, 
Yung pagbibigay ng aras, hindi pa namin ginagawa, ito ho ba'y approved ng... Uh, at least, kasi naman sumusunod tayo sa United States Cubbishops Conference, di ba? Kasi hindi namin ito... So, na-approve na sa states, so... Yan yeah, um, ba'y sasabihin ng kubispo sa amin? Ewan ko sa inyo. <laughs> kasi, kasi kami ngayon, nandun pa lang kami sa ano, yung aras, wala kailan mo ibigay. Uh, pero pag tinitin niyo yung bagong right, It, the English Meron translate, no, 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 no. So, so, hindi pala tinindros ng bishop sa akin. Ang Manila, ang, 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 ang Manila, nag, nag, ano na, nag-print na lang ng bagong rights sa English. Wala tag, wala pa Tagalog. Ah, uh, so, uh, parang hindi pa nakabitod kasi Tagalog pa lang yung amin. Oo. Oh, pero medyo Tagalogin na. Para mas maganda. <laughs> okay, mag-experiment na kayo. Sa, in fact, sa, sa Thursday, minitig kami mga parish priest ng Manila pinagpag nagpatawag ang ang Vicar General, the name of the Cardinal, para pag-usapan itong kasal-kasal-kasal-kasal na ito uh, dito sa Manila. Pero yun na, kasi nga, I think it's the point that this, the, the prayer sabi ka is also katiketikan. Kasi nga, nung unang, unang paso ko dyan, the, uh, ang sakrista na nag-pop na rehearse sa kanila. Tapos ako magkakasal. Eh, pero yung nagkakasal ako, eh parang nakalutang itong dalawang kinakasal ko. Hindi na excited. Kung baga, hindi alam kung ano gagawin at ang hindi alam para saan yung ginagawa. Kasi ang sakristan na nanon eh, ang nag-rehearsal. Eh, para silang nag-ano lang, nag, ang, ang tawag doon sa, sa, sa theater, nag-ano lang sila, nag-blocking lang sila. Dito ka, dito ka, tayo ka, gano'n. Pero they don't know, they, they don't know, they're aware of what, uh, ano ibig sabihin niyan? Doon, ibig sabihin niyan, uh, yung gesture na yan, yan, yan. Yung magkahawak ka ng kamay, dahil babas ko sa kanan ng pare, ganyan, ganyan. So wala yun. So, I took it, I took it myself na, ako ang mag, uh, mag, uh, mag uh, exercise, mag uh, rehearse, rehearse. Tapos, lately, the past three months, umihip ang spirito sa akin. Kasi na-notice ko, parang confession ha. Okay, confession, face to face yan. Ganyan. Tapos sabihin ko sa kala, pinakahuli. O sige, lumaan ka muna dun sa Eucharistic Adoration Chapel. Ergon yun, ha? Ito kayo mga ano ka dyan. Tapos, magdasal ka, uh, lift up everything to the Lord, and enter into a very personal conversation with the Lord. Yan. Tapos, sabi, tignan ko yung reno. Oh, ngayon, it's nine. You know, I'll give you one. But, see, one twenty minutes. Kasi, I still have to confess the, the next part there by, so, look, the twenty minutes. So, so we just meet after twenty minutes in the big church for the rehearsal. Apa? Five minutes pa lang nandun na sila sa big church. Huwag na nangyari dito. So, ibig sabihin, wala yung yung ganong uh, disposition or even kakayana. Diba? Kasi hindi, hindi na sana eh. So, ang ginawa ko, meron ako, meron kami, napagaling na couple, retired, and uh, belongs to the Dio Catechumenal Movement. Pero, uh, serving the parish. And uh, they're, they're accustomed, they're catechists to the Dio Catechumenal, and so they're accustomed to counsel. At meron silang module on the spirituality of marriage, marriage and the Eucharist. Yan yung namimiss na mga kinakasali. Yung makita na ang Eucharistia ay ang sakramento kaugnay ng kasal. Dahil sa kasal, ibinibigay niyo ang sarili sa ito isa sa Eucharistia, binibigay ni Jesus ang sarili niya sa inyong dalawa. Yung ganong koneksyon, di maintindihan. So, kasi ito ang nangyari, ritual lang, ritual lang. Okay. So, I asked the couple to do the last counseling session for them, for the couple. Alam nyo, minsan may mga couples na usually one hour lang ang counseling session, yung mag-ganyan. Umaabot, itong topic na ito, umaabot ng dalawang oras. Matakong, it's still nandiyan pa sila. I would ask the, the couple, but they're, na-engage sila eh. Dami mga tanong. And then, recently, 
itong couple na ito nagpunta sa Spain kasi may ang dio ang dio meron po meron silang piyesta sa nasa sa Italy pala sa Rome may anniversary sila eh may 50th nila o wala yan no? so wala sila ngayon for this past uh, month wala eh may mga kasal kami ngayon mga linggo ito so wala silang ano wala silang wala akong makuha ang uh, couple ko no? so yung counseling may tinatigay sa kanila kitang-kita ko ang difference. Ang couple na nag-undergo nito counseling na ito spiritual at marriage, marriage and the Eucharist from the couples na wala nitong seminar nito. Iba ang iba ang tawag dito yung behavior yung sa, sa disposition sa so, during the ano the right, right itself. E minsan nga nakaka-scandalo eh. Kasan na nila yan? Okay. Magkikitian pa yan. Bulong-bulong pa. Ang mga sweet natin sa ganyan. Sa harap na ng altar. Kasi sinasabi ko sa kanila, pag ako nagpa-practice, tandaan niyo ha, itong kasal na ito, hindi na ito mauuli. Kaya focus kayo, focus. Huwag kayo mag-stack ng photographers. Huwag kayo mag-stack ng mga ano-ano mga yan. Dito kayo, kasi hindi na yan babalik. Sabi ko, saan ang reception niyo? Sofitel. Sofitel. Yan reception niyo yan. Kahit araw-arawin niyo kung ligaw ko niyo ulitin. Pero itong kasal niyo, hindi na yan mauulit. Dahil pag sinabi niyo, 